let's understand queueable apex so queueable apex is basically a super set of future methods which provide some extra benefits extra features as well so you might have gone through future methods and apex uh, batch apex examples so if we talk about queueable apex so it can be uh, known as combination of future methods and batch apex so this you will feel in the syntax as well so in uh, future method basically uh, limitation is we can work on primitive arguments only but here uh, uh, that limit is not available you can go beyond primitive arguments as well and uh, in batch apex like we use three methods um, start execute and finish so uh, similarly like here in uh, queueable apex you need to define one method so that's why it is known as combination of future methods and batch apex then if you want to execute your queueable apex so you need you can call um, the class by a simple system dot nq job method so uh, similarly like in uh, batch apex as well we use execute batch method to execute the batch apex and when you call nq jobs method so it returns a job id that can be monitored so that id basically you can use to monitor uh, like different parameters related to queueable apex now let's talk about the additional benefits those are available with queueable apex so first is non primitive types so in case of future methods you are restricted with primitive data types or primitive arguments and uh, maybe like you can have collection of primitives but that two primitives only in queueable apex you can go beyond primitive data types and you can use non primitive types as arguments right so it means you can work on s objects as well in queueable apex now if we talk about monitoring so queueable apex can be monitored in two ways like you can uh, monitor it with the help of ui by searching apex jobs in quick find and setup and you can see the status of your queueable apex job also when you run nq job method so it basically returns a id a job id and with the help of that job id you can also monitor your queueable apex now third benefit is chaining jobs so if you want to call one uh, process through another so that you can do with the help of queueable apex so chaining of jobs is available in queueable apex which is not available with future method so these are some benefits those are additional to uh, future method that's why we prefer queueable apex now this is the syntax of future method so in case of future method you need to use at the rate annotation map uh, sorry you need to use at the rate future annotation uh, for particular method so if you use this annotation at the rate future so that method will work as a future method that will be executed uh, asynchronously so here method name is my future method it is receiving a list of string as parameters and uh, you can see uh, string is a primitive type but we are using collection of primitive so that is permissible and here you can write the code and uh, through this future method we are calling uh, my sync method and we are passing parameters so basically what we are doing we we are defining this my sync method individually so we can call it uh, directly without making it a uh, future method and we can call it through future method as well so uh, this way like a uh, future method uh, can be useful now talking about queueable uh, apex syntax so here you need to implement a class named as some class so it name can be anything now we need to implement one interface that is queueable so it is kind of similar to batch apex so in batch apex also we need to implement an interface and then we need to define start execute and finish methods so similarly in queueable apex as well you need to implement queueable interface and you will be defining only one method that is execute you don't need to define start and finish methods in queueable apex now if i talk about future method again so in future method you can see we we don't need to implement any interface we just need to use at the rate future annotation to convert any method in future method whereas in queueable uh, apex syntax is totally different 
And here in execute method, you need to use queuable context uh, uh, instance that is context name can be anything, but queuable context, this class should be same. And inside this execute method, you will be implementing actual code that will be executed while you will be executing your queuable epics. So this is brief about queuable epics. 